Hey guys, this is Glenn from Glenn Reptiles and I uh, thought I'd share with you a very fun snake that I have in my collection. Um, this is an easily recognized uh, beauty snake here. It's a Chinese beauty and um, you maybe recognize them. There's a few different versions of the Asian beauty rat snakes. And uh, so this is a female that I have and uh, pretty pretty traditional looking beauty snake uh, but I also have these morphs that are calico and carrying a trait that's called hypo but to, to the layman's eyes or maybe <laughs> just someone with experience it looks a lot like albino to me look at those eyes um, but anyway um, these guys end up looking like giant palmetto corns um, as adults. And so part of what's exciting about this is this is a, this is a female here, um, Chinese beauty. Uh, and this is a male. This female is het for the hypo or albino gene and possible het for calico. And so when she breeds with him, uh, it'll be interesting to see what those babies look like. But quite frankly, I really love the look of just the normals um, as well. They're just beautiful animals. And so um, I'm very excited about this project. I'm also very excited because as this video is being made, right this very moment, three feet to my right, this guy, the hypo calico Chinese beauty male, is having eggs laid by his mate, another hypo calico Chinese beauty snake. Um, and so hopefully, if the eggs all do well, um, in a few months, I will have some of these as babies. Hypo calico. <laughs> Chinese beauty rat snake. Um, so this will be the first year of them producing. I'm super excited. It's one of my uh, most exciting projects for the year since it's the first year they could go and I'm so excited that that female did go. I don't think this female is quite big enough. The other female's somewhat bigger than both of these snakes so she was big enough to produce eggs this year. Um, but these are super fun snakes. Uh, I really enjoy them. They're very active, as you can see, but, you know, they're not biting me. Um, they're not musking me. Um, they just are very inquisitive. So, beautiful snakes. Hope you enjoyed taking a look at these guys. Uh, and tell me in your comments, what do you think? Um, is the normal more beautiful? Because I think a strong argument could be made for that. Um, what happens a lot of times in the hobby is that we have a very beautiful snake, but you just get used to seeing it. So something that's different really stands out. And boy, are these two snakes different in the way they look. I'll show you one other thing that I think is kind of fun. Um, so this guy, my male, has a speckling pattern and you see the speckle just above his nose there he's got two red orange spots above his nose um, when they were babies it was easy for me to tell them apart because in my mind those two spots represented his mustache which is a masculine thing and the female that's laying the eggs had orange spots right above her eyes which look like eyeshadow um, and so uh, they were easy to tell apart because of their pattern. I don't know if you guys use little tricks with your animals as well to help you recognize one from the other when they have similar looks. Um, but it is fun when you have animals like this that have very unique, you know, their, their patterns are like fingerprints. They're all very unique. And so by finding little things that help you remember little mnemonics, um, you can easily tell them apart so anyway there they are chinese beauty rat snake hope you enjoy just to verify 
to show you that indeed I was not lying. Here is Tofu, the female, and there she sits on top of some eggs. I think she's just about done laying, but I'm giving her a little bit of time to relax and enjoy herself before I get in and get those eggs. But very exciting. Um, first time, and I can't wait to see what those babies look like.